Hey everyone, Jay from Digiboard Games here. Today we're having a look at Breach and Clear from Gun. Currently this game is IGN's free game for October. All you have to do is go to IGN, get their promo code, go to the App Store, and redeem, redeem your code there. Um, if you don't go to IGN's website and get the code, it's still $3 on the App Store. So let's have a look at what Breach and Clear has to offer. So far I've been playing it for a few days and have really enjoyed the deep tactical strategy of this game. It's really, really well put together. And um, when you start off, you get to choose between, I think it was four different squads. Um, the Army Rangers, the Navy Seals, um, I chose um, Canada's JTF-2 squad. And I do believe the other one were the Spetsnaz. So you have a few different options when you come into the game. Um, you can go to your squad and upgrade their abilities and what they can do and level them up. Um, you can also go to the marketplace and purchase gear. Um, one thing I do have to warn you on for that though is make sure you know what gear you have before you go in and purchase anything new because your squad might already own it. There are also some premium items that you can do, like, you know, obviously come in and buy in-game currency, but um, from, what, from what you can see here, their top one is only $20, where if you go to some other apps for their top in-game money, they're usually charging around, you know, $100 for probably about the same amount as this one would give you. Um, so you have that, and then you have the additional content like the, um, the permanent XP doubler, the permanent silver doubler, which I'm really thinking about purchasing, just for the simple fact of I already got the game for free, and it's $3, so, you know, I'm paying $4 for some in-game content, you know, just, just feels right. Then we'll jump into a mission here. So currently, you have, um two campaign options to go through. You have the terrorist hunt where you go in and you know take care of enemies in buildings, uh, marketplaces and that sort of thing. Um, and then there's the bomb defusal where you actually go in and make sure that you are able to defuse um, the bomb and in the targeted time and so on. But what I'm going to show you will be um, a terrorist hunt so all you got to do is just click on the map for where you want it to go. I chose to come into Afghanistan. And we will do... Uh, let's try Mission, mission Cold Saber. Um, so your goal in, in this scenario is to take out the patrolling terrorists and secure the floor. So I'll just choose Novice. Um, and you can see right down underneath it says you know your best time and if you beat that I do believe you get more more silver and that kind of thing and you do want to try and get four stars in all of the available stuff um, because you need stars as you can see up in the top right corner I only have 54 and a lot of the better weapons you need to have at least 75 stars before you get it like I know that for the AR-15 I think it is that's how many you need for that one, and that one's supposed to be one of the better guns in the game. Um, so yeah, I'll just jump into the mission now, and we'll show you what we got going on. So in this mission, you have the option of four different breach points. So either I can split everybody up and have them go into, you know, a certain area on their own or I can have them team up like three in one and one in the other or I can go two and two which is probably going to be the case so I'm going to choose A and B as my breach points so I will hit A on the map first um, and here's your here's your assignment layout so Usually what I do is I take Willis and I move him 
all the way over to the right since he's going to be he's my breacher so he's going to breach through the door um and i always want to move bryant to the last spot because he's just the intelligence guy so i have him more speed and accuracy um than actual health and um usually calhoun and wilkerson are the tougher guys so now you just want to make sure that you have your proper door selected and you can see that because it's orange so i will have willis and calhoun go through that door and then i'll click on b and i'll have wilkerson and bryant go through that door on the right you can see breaching methods um, at higher levels i highly recommend making sure that you got lock picks and suppressors on your weapons because there's always more enemies and the quieter you can be the better because um, the without them being alerted to your presence you can actually sneak in on them and you know not take as many shots but since this is just normal I'm just gonna go with a normal breach I have all my guys selected so now I just go team is ready and now it's time to set it up so you have your your camera angles down in the bottom left corner here um, right now it's set to orthographic so you got your your pinch and zoom and your rotate or if you click on it you have your top down I prefer the orthographic view um, so I'm just gonna move Willis in here by clicking on the screen and And I'm just going to set him up so that he can see a lot of inside of that room. And then I'm going to click on Calhoun. Toss him over here by this um, sofa. So he's hidden. And just make sure that he's seeing all the way down the hallway. As best as he can. So he can take care of you know, the baddies. I will go over to Breachers 2. Um, this one's always kind of tricky because if there's a guy to the door on the left side, um, it'll be very tough for me to adjust and take him out. So I will just try and set it up like this. So that I can watch my guys back as best as possible and still keep myself out of fire. So let's breach and see what happens. Okay, Wilkerson took a little bit of a beating there. Uh, is that one guy still alive? No, both of those terrorists have been taken care of. Um, there's the one left in the middle of the room there. So what I'm actually going to do is click on Bryant first. And get him to move to this side of the door. And look in that room. Next I will have Willis move into this room and take care of that guy and then I'll have Calhoun come in and breach into that office there and then Wilkerson will have him um, what do you think right here yeah, let's do that. Mm, actually, that's a bad place for him to go. We'll go here. And just have him face down there. And then breach. boom so that's what a typical mission will play out as um, it's pretty simple to learn 
but it's really hard to master. So this is what an end game screen looks like, your team report. Um, I was successful, but because I, I think it was because I took too many turns and I, w I got very wounded with two of my characters, I lost the star. But it does give you uh, XP total and how much money you made, um, how many enemies killed, time taken, and you know if anybody had passed away or you know too much damage was dealt, they would let you know below. So that's pretty much breach and clear at its core. Now I haven't gotten too too deep into the game yet, but from what I have played, I've been really enjoying it. Um, you know the in-app purchases aren't really needed for this title. You know it's, if you just play the game a lot and have some fun with it, you'll get your stars, you'll get money, and you'll be able to equip your squads. Um, as for missions, you know, the more you play, the more you're going to learn, and the more you're going to understand how the movement systems work, you know, which way to look when you come into a room, you know, always make sure to check your corners. Um, I really found that the music and sound effects really brought the immersion deeper in this game. Uh, I didn't feel like it was, you know this game that was trying to bring you a tactical strategy it was more like that's what this game is it's really tailored to you know people who like to customize and really have control of what their team does and what they have so if you're really big into tactical strategy games you know I would highly recommend this game for you it should be on your iPad and since IGN has it on as their free game even if you don't like tactical strategy games you know give this one a shot it's a free game that you know really should be charging more than the three dollars that it does on on the store right now <clears throat> you know, so I just want to say thanks for stopping by again um, you know if you like the content subscribe below like, comment, critique, whatever you want. You know, we're we're open to suggestions. Um, as always, thank you. Um, if you want, you can follow me on Twitter. You can like me on Facebook, and as I already said, you can subscribe below. Thanks again.